as she waited for us. It was getting scary out here. They're doing a button check, and I was like, oh, are we starting yet? Nah. So, fun fact, Mr. E, like, came back here. He's like, does it start? And then we're like, <laughs> like, no, just wait. And we thought he started, like, he, he does stuff like that. He's very troll. It's like, it's okay. I don't even think it's but, a troll. Oh my god, Force Armor, subscribing. Thank you. Feel better. Right. But gaming, we are definitely gaming. All right. This has been one of the wackiest Nino's. Explain, yes. Because you so, were in it. I, I know. So everybody got upset. Yes. But this is also the Xeno before Let's Make News. So low key pre local Johns. <laughs> if you do if you do good at the pre local, you lose the major. Yeah. You fold that in pools. So bye bye Eric. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye Eric. Eric, Mr. E might be losing today. Yeah. And the way that uh, Bird's been playing the Sephiroth is kind of been showing out. Yeah. No, he's cooking. He got upset early, I believe, to the mid -min. I um, could be wrong. Yes, I think it was a run back, I believe. Yeah, and then he won the run back. Yes. Against, uh, what, Obese Fire? Yeah. Yes. And then Mr. E lost early. I'm forgetting the name. Who it was lost. a Pyra Mithra. Oh, Pyra Mithra. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Chicago Pyra Mithra. Yes. That came out, beat, beat Mr. E, and now Mr. E's still here, winner semis, saying, you've only grazed me. And, Tis oh, but a scratch. Yeah. And, <laughs> and a lot of our finest, I'm, I'm sorry, Numbers, is out. Numbers is out. Helper is out. Um, Raptor lost early. I am very tired and annoyed. Numbers is very tired and annoyed. Yeah. I'm sorry, Numbers. It's okay, Numbers. I'm live. Don't worry. He's not lying. No, live. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll He's, communicate for you. Don't worry. We got you always. <laughs> They can I, hear him. They, they can, can hear literally him. hear me. They can hear him. Oh, I think that's what he's saying. Lies. I did not hear that. I'm EP. Listen, it is 11:18. We have a major in the weekend. That's we have a pre-local, and then we have a and possible 3-0 coming from Burst well, against yeah. Mr. E. Well, like 2-0, because everything is best of three here at Cena. Oh, true, 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 true. Because it's the weekday. Don't play with me. There's, yeah. de there's definitely something in the air for the Cena that turned out the way it did. A yeah. lot of people came out, and Maybe a as they should. You gotta get that last minute training, yeah. and of course, the, you know, the Johns, if yeah. you lose today. No numbers. No numbers. The, the, the numbers came. <laughs> no, nobody. But yeah, now I would win. JJK reference. You gotta you get it if you get it. I didn't. I need to. I've told um, Bars I need to read and or watch JJK. I really do need to. It's such a. I know it's really good. It is really good. So good. It has everyone in shambles last chapter. I know that for a fact. Oh, yeah. we get caught. It, yeah, that's the first doc of it. So, fun fact. I know in the car right here. Okay. In particular, we're talking about some matchups. Mystery, not the greatest, as some people think against Sethroff, from my understanding. Did he explain why? Uh, no, it's just some people that play Sephiroth that he doesn't oh. do as great against. He's just losing. But, and Burst has the lead right now. I can see an adaptation come through, but <gasps> I can, oh, I thought we were going to see it there. But an up tilt right there going to take the stock. But yeah, I can see this kind of leaning toward Burst's favor. <laughs> That was just, I feel like the way that Burst has been playing today, especially against, there was a matchup against, I think it was Omic Bob, or it was one of the Sonic players, no, it was Super Sonic, um, where he was down, like a whole stock, he was down, no, I'm sorry, he was down two stocks, I went for 5%, and it's just his patience that kind of secures, oh my god, the pop off, yeah. that really secures a lot of these games for him, because he just waits for your mistake, and then he uh, uh, responds accordingly. Yeah, no, Burst, one of the most patient players mm -hmm. in the game right now. Like he's actually just genuinely different. That was just a good up tilt. Now, again, we're going to be going over to not TNT, but Smashville instead. Only one platform to deal with. But I think both players are still going to be able to really show out today uh, yeah. at this crazy Xeno. Yeah, and reading jump and mystery jumping into the counter. Luckily, not swinging there, so not going to take the full throttle of mm -hmm. Seth Ross counter. And I like the stage pick right now because we got a smaller space. Mystery gets to be in burst space, and that's where Sethroth does not like to be. Yeah, the long sword is there for a reason. You want to keep your distance, you want your other, like that that back air or that forward tilt. Both uh, options are so good, just kind of stuffing out most characters in the cast. However, Mr. E, again, smaller space, can really deal with this character at large. Now, excuse me, we are definitely coming to stage off yeah. of the upbeat off of the counter from Lucina, but 
Still gonna be anyone's game here. Whoever takes a stock first, however, will be definitely be determining factor in how this uh, set might go. Yeah, no, definitely. And as you say that, first had to game one, so and patience. Buff, yeah, patience, just waiting for the jump. I see them lining up to take the first stock. Oh, I thought. No, thought yeah, no. <laughs> was first, was right I'm about there. to say. I'm like, mm. oh, you're getting a little yeah, low okay. there. <laughs> yeah, still, mystery manages to close it out, so I'm saying Chris still fine. <laughs> However, we are going in for the full, full utilization of that uh, that special. However, yeah. that down and which have been kind of torturing a lot of people today, it does come out once more and takes another soul. Yeah, re you can't re grab there. So, first just being prepared, getting it down there, and now just keeping the distance. And that is crazy to do on a stage like Smashville. Going for that, the up there, double up there to reset uh, the jumps on the platform. Very smart utilization of that platform and very scary downward angle of that um, that recovery for burst. But again, I feel like with a lot of characters that have that kind of recovery option, to be so good those angles to really mix up uh, mix up your timings and from your opponent. All right, air dodge. Okay, not not gonna do anything right there. But we saw the runoff. Oh, counter, nice. Oh, right counter the counter. <laughs> I love that. Mr. E. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him in the camera right now. He is locked in. No. He is in there. Grab. Great. Down throw. Trying to go for the up air. Going for the back air instead. All right. Going for the ledge grab. Just kind of, again, like you were saying, uh, being so close together to the Sephiroth, I versus is getting a little bit uncomfortable and trying to find opportunity to just make him back up like six feet, please. But no, gain the grab once more, back throw, burst off stage once again. We're gonna, okay, I thought we we're gonna see in the mystery patent of Smash right there. Okay, Wing is out, giving us a little bit of an advantage here in terms of just uh, data. Gain the last hit of the Octo Slash. Yeah. Yes, thank And you. I'm surprised Mystery plays so close up because Sethroth being one of the characters with the low le ledge hang, mm -hmm. and also just the fact that they can drop fair, like, which is hard to react to, you can, you kind of just give them ledge and just react to like a roll and du jump distance against this character. Okay, Bear gonna take it right there, but yes, if you stand too close, it's just not worth it to fight Sethroth. No, for sure. I really am enjoying how patient both players are, are actually playing here because you kind of see like it feels like a snake pit like we're just kind of yeah. going around each other finding their opportunities finding their openings trying to go for that rapid uh, that uh, extra damage on the ledge and we definitely find it from burst and this is kind of the little bit of damage we do need to start stacking up because at 116% instead of being very very light you are going to die very quickly but I love the reverse positioning here from burst. Yeah and no jump right here. Okay, this we managed to get back to ledge. Oh, we almost saw the near one conversion, but Burst still holding on and taking yes. that. Yes, nice. Yeah. Wow. Very <laughs> frustrated on that loss, but Burst holding it together. And I didn't even realize that was two games. That was two games. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm like, why is Mr. E standing up? I didn't even realize that. Yeah. I forgot we were in game two. That was such a well-played game. It didn't feel like it was like five minutes either. Yeah, no. But Burst with that patient play, and it's the reason you didn't feel it is because there was so many interactions happening mm -hmm. that even though it was still patient, it was like still a patient game, it was like stuff were going on. It's not like they were just standing across stage. So Burst now guaranteed third place. Got to play LRA start. Who, you know, Elder Star has also been showing out very, very well today. Uh, taking it over John and Winners, taking it over Obese Fart. Uh, I can't. <laughs> taking over Obese Fart and Winners as well. And then, um, unfortunately, losing to Sean, who won, again, like I said, Waypoint yesterday, and I believe Xeno last week? Or Waypoint last week? Waypoint. Yeah, they went Waypoint, Waypoint, Waypoint last week. Last week they lost to me and Xeno. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, talk it. I don't talk shit. You can but talk guess, a little bit. Guess who's in ninth right now? Me. Mm, <laughs> so, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, no. Nah. This is their week. 